Myra, the virtual interpreter for the blind. Instant access to information. A real person in real time. Ira on the web. A I R A dot I O. Available now. Go online and sign up today. Welcome to Blind Abilities. I'm Jeff Thompson. And I'm Pete Lane. Welcome to our Blind Abilities coverage of the NFB 2017 National Convention. We'll be covering the entire NFB convention 2017 in Orlando, Florida, bringing you the latest in technology, interviews with some of the movers and shakers in the blindness field. With us again this year, our special correspondent, Cheryl Spencer. Hi, this is Cheryl Spencer. It promises to be a lot of fun, so come along with us for the ride. For the ride, for the ride, for the ride. I'm here with Lori Thompson, who has a guide dog. So what is the experience like at the NFB convention for you using a guide dog? Oh, wow. The first day or so is a kind of nerve-wracking because you're trying to guide your dog through the hotel and give him the layout. And, you know, the first couple days it's a little bit distracting for him because, you know, he hasn't been around this many dogs since guide dog school. (laughs) So it's a little nerve-wracking, but by the end of the week, you're just traveling. You're going from point A to point B. It's a great experience. So when traveling at the NFB convention, you know, like I said, the first couple days are a little nerve-wracking. We go to the store, and one of Logan's favorite treats is carrots. By the end of the week, all I have to tell Logan is, find the carrots, and we go right back to my hotel room. It's absolutely amazing. Went to the exhibit hall today with Logan. It was great. Um, Again, it's a little nerve-wracking because there's so many people and you don't want someone stepping on him or smacking him with the cane by accident. Um, But I did find um, guide dogs on the go, um, which was one of the most important places I wanted to go to while I was here to check out all the new things that Julie Johnson has for the guide dogs, accessories. So I bought Logan a new bell, and now it sounds like Christmas. (laughs) But we're having a fabulous time, and he's doing really well. Um, he's been out to the pool with me, he's been in the exhibit hall, he's been down through the lobby to the restaurants. Um, it's been great. Um, I just kind of watch the heat because he's not used to it being from Minnesota. He's not used to the heat like this. So I kind of, um, you know, let him hang out in the hotel room a little bit, sometimes in the evenings by himself just to keep him from being too hot. Yeah, it's been great. Love it. At a convention like this, is it hard to figure out the relief areas or what does that entail? You know, there's usually a couple designated spots for relief areas. It's hard for Logan because he's used to just going on grass. I mean, he he was trained to go on concrete, but I'm not a big fan of that. They have a couple sawdust areas made up, little areas like kind of like garden areas that have just full of the sawdust which he's fine with that but he usually does number one but he won't go number two in there Um, so I have to find a nice grassy area and I don't know what's going on with him this year but the grass here he's just I don't know if he's seen a lizard or if he doesn't like the texture or whatever but he's hopping around like a bunny rabbit in the grass you know he he finally does what he needs to do and we run back upstairs or go back in the lobby or go to the exhibit hall or whatever we're doing. They have facilities there to dispose of everything? Yes, there's um, usually a trash can not too far from the relief area, or there's one right before you go inside the door, there's a a trash, so it's very easy to find. Um, I love the relief areas because that's where you can kind of congregate and meet new guide dog teams, and um, you know, you you get chit-chatting about different things, and um, I found out the other day about a new treat um, that I can get um, Logan that's low calories. It's called the Charlie Charlie Bears, and you can find them on Amazon or Chewy.com, and I believe Trader Joe has them as well. So it's, it's always fun. Um, I mean, the relief area, who would have thought? <laughs> I'm Julie Johnson, and my company is On The Go, and it's primarily guide and service dog gear, although some of the products are multifunctional. <laughs> um, so we have the, the sport harness is probably our featured item. It's been really popular at conventions. And I have all sorts of leashes and bells and bowls, raincoats, um, different pouches to carry your pickup baggies and treats, all kinds of really good stuff. And the website is guideandservicedogs.com, and there are dashes in between each of the words. Blind Abilities coverage of NFB 2017 is brought to you by Ira. 
Ira. No task too large, no task too small. www.ira.io When we share what we see through each other's eyes, eyes, we can then then begin begin to bridge the the gap between between the the limited expectations and the the realities of blind abilities. abilities. For more podcasts with a blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com. On Twitter at BlindAbilities, download our app from the App Store, BlindAbilities, that's two words, or send us an email at info at blindabilities.com. Thanks for listening.